Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I wanna to show you Pixton. Now Pixton is a place where you can create online comics. If you're a teacher, you can set up an entire class, invite your students to it, uh, and have everybody in one spot where you can take a look at their comics and give comments back. So I'm gonna run through how you create your comics and how you set up your classes for Pixton EDU. So I'm gonna go ahead and get logged into my account. I'm using the four educators one here. I'm just using the free one too. So you can see if you don't have an account, just go ahead, try it for free. I'm gonna get logged in because I've already created an account. Uh, with uh, this, I'm just gonna log in with one of my Google accounts. You can do it with Microsoft or Facebook as well. I'm logged in now and what you see is my dashboard as a teacher. Um, you can see I have grade five set up as a class. I'll show you how to make a new class and get your students in it in a moment. Uh, I'll, I'm going to click on this one in view class. I only have one student in here so I made this with a different account and they get to make an avatar. You actually get to make an avatar too so I'm going to click right up top here where beside my name if I click on it. Uh, then you can go through all the different sequences of your avatar from quite tall and everything from your face to your clothes, all these things. But I'm not going to go through and set that up on here. It's a very simple just to follow through. Now I, I'm just going to go back to view class. I'm going to click on the student and remember you'd have more students in here if you're using it as a class, but I can see the comics that they created. If I click on this again, uh, I can even give feedback that they're going to get in their account too. So when I show you the student's view, that will be there. If you look over to the right hand side of the top, you notice there's this toggle uh, switch here. If you want to make one your favorite, you can just go ahead and toggle it this way. I'm just going to go back a few levels here to my dashboard uh, and you have my favorites and it will show up right here uh, when you have that turned on. I just want to go back to the classroom here to show you a couple other things in it. If I hit view class, uh, you know how I have showed you the one student that's in here. If I show you the class photo, you can see that one student that joined is in the class photo. Uh, you can toggle this back and forth up here to get the kind of a graduation thing happening here. But as more students uh, join your class, they make their avatars, uh, this photo will change showing all the students that are involved. You can uh, download it from here and share it as you can see. I can edit my avatar also just by clicking on edit avatar at this point too. Now I'm going to go over to printables just to point this out. There are things that you can print off here that you can go through uh, if you wanted to, to do that. Now I'm just going to go back. I'm going to go to my comics now and this is going to be the same way that students will make their comics too. So I'm going to click on my comics. I'm going to make a brand new comic here. Make a comic and I'm just going to call this example here for today and we are going to go with a uh, dinosaur theme. So I'm going to pick this one right here. You can see I have a blank uh, canvas here. I'm going to pick a background. Now you pick your background uh, you can always make adjustments to your background. If I look under the image over here, notice if I want it dark, I can uh, change it here. So if you do want it nighttime, uh, you can add different things to it. So just go through and take a look at this. Don't forget that's there. I have a background and now I want to add a character to this. So I just click on the next one over here and you can see there's different characters. If you get anything with a lock on it, that means it is a part of a paid for one. So uh, there are some actually some, uh, pretty good deals for it because uh, it includes uh, all your your all yours and your students too, as well as part of the pricing. But I'll let you guys check that uh, check that out. But if I go to this one that doesn't have a lock, I'll put this one on, and I put this character in here. And notice I can drag this person uh, back and forth along the ground on it. I can go through and make adjustments to the colors, to the outfit um, of this. So if I go ahead and click on it, uh, you notice that the changes that appear very quickly. If I wanted uh, blonde hair in here and even change the hairstyle like this so I can quickly make those changes. I'm going to go ahead and make a duplicate of the same slide here. So I'm going to go duplicate panel up here. 
and what that will do it just creates a duplicate now i'm actually going to change something in the focus on this one so if i click on focus i can uh, do a different shot here so maybe i want to zoom up uh, on this one so i'll pick uh, i'll pick this right here and what you notice it kind of zooms up uh, on it so if i go to this one maybe i just want uh, a headshot at this point i and then i can add some words so I can at this time just go to words, hit add words. So I'm going to add my captions. I could just use my mic, talk by clicking this, put it right in. And I'm just going to say, where am I? Just like this. And you can see you have some options uh, on this one, uh, how it changes to the uh, type of it. So I'll just leave it as a thought. And then, uh, then I can continue on with the faces now do i what type of face do i want here do i want them uh to look kind of confused in it but i can go through and pick different ones and remember the lock ones you won't have available to you so i'm going to go back to this one here again and i'm just going to duplicate this one and you can drag these uh, around too so if you can see i uh, i can put them in different orders like this and I'm going to go ahead and add an action. Maybe I'll put the person over here and I'll add an action to this. If I want this person, uh, that this character running away, I can go and change the faces that they look scared uh, on it, just like this. And you can see very quickly, I can make these changes on it. I can view the co the comic. If I click down here, you can see it starts to put it like more like a comic. You can go back and forth, but then I can be, when I'm done, I go ahead and hit done like this. And now I have a comic in my comics and the students are going to be doing this the same way. Uh, I can go back and edit. I can share it at any time. If I click on it, you can see download print right from here too. So very easy easy to uh, create these so now how do you create your class well I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my classroom here I already had the one example I have a new classroom I'm gonna go to new classroom and we'll just call this well we'll just call this English here so I'll call it like this and uh, next and we'll just say this is grade 9 here we'll continue and I'm going to have a second uh, class at this point here once it uh, goes through. So I'll just call this, well, actually we'll call this math here. And how do I want to do this? So you can choose to use Pixton usernames. I would probably use the Google one. If I was in a Google environment, I'm going to hit choose this one. Now, all you have to do is copy this link and send it to the student. So I'm going to copy that, but I'll hit close. Uh, if I go uh, back to it, so you can see I'm in it right now. If I go back, I have this new English class. I can always take that code from there and copy uh, copy it. So I am I already have it copied. I'm going to bring in a new window here. And all I would have to be doing, I'm going to bring it over here. It's a different login. I'm going to paste it up here. So maybe you send it out in an email to the students and they click on this link and then they go into this and they're going to be joining English. So now this student is going to be joining English here. So I'll go into this class and I can start making a comic from here. I'll be I'll just say test here. Well, spell it wrong. That's fine. And they go through the same thing and I'm just going to do a one example. I'll just put this bed and I'm going to put a character in here. Uh, really quickly and I, I'm gonna hit done just like this now if I go back I'm gonna go back to the teacher view I'm just gonna minimize this one and I view this class in English you can see James is in that one they went in through the link and I can click through and this is the comic that they made where you can go through and leave the feedback to it so it's easy for the students to log in through their Google. It puts them all into the classes with the links that you send. So you can have a lot of fun uh, with this, giving different assignments uh, based on so many different things. And it gives a different way for students maybe to uh, explain what they know. So I hope this has made sense to you today with uh, using Pixton. And, you, and I'm just showing the free one. You can check the pricing. Just click up top uh, here and you can see all the different ones, all the different pricing uh, up here if there's something that if you do find you really like this 
But uh, for now, maybe the free one works for you and it's very easy to use and uh, it could be a fun way for students to show what they know. So thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next week with some more tech tips and tutorials.